Hi, I'm Gail Howard from topmargin.com. Today we'll be discussing age in the workplace. You know, many of us fear the day we need to compete against younger, equally qualified candidates who display so much youthful enthusiasm that we start to feel like mother or father time. Let's look at ways you can make a positive, long-lasting impression so that when you're assessed, you're assessed by what means the most and what really counts, which is who is the best candidate to do the job. Try to present a more contemporary version of yourself at interview. For instance, avoid talk of your graduation year or your grandchildren or the 60s. If you're asked about hobbies or pursuits, try to choose something active such as uh, jogging or squash. If you can't do that, talk about sports in a way that shows your contemporary knowledge that you're upfront and know what's going on with the world around you. Try always at interview to steer the conversation back to work-related achievements. This is where you're on firmer ground. Keep right away from showing outdated attitudes. Don't refer to women as girly or sweetie or dear. Never say, in my day or young people today. And remember, never show any negative comment towards nationality, race, religion or gender. Eliminate outdated phrasing, things like years ago or when I was your age or the young hotshots back then or the girls in the office. These are things that date you. Eliminate self-defeating talk. Don't say, oh, I'm 57 but my friends say I look years younger or oh, I'm 56 but oh, I have all my teeth. Or, I, I suppose you may be looking for someone younger. Don't apologise for what you have and don't assume what people are looking for. You may have successfully resisted the temptation to get into the technological age, but learning is not restricted to age. Go online, have a course, learn what you need to do. So many jobs today are linked with technology and to not know it leaves you behind. You've heard it said before, but it's true. You only have one chance to make a first impression. Check your clothes, make sure they're modern, yet conservative. Limit your jewellery, don't smoke. And men, I'm sorry, but if you are balding, forget the toupees. Embrace the way you are. Have a short, contemporary haircut that reflects today. And women, watch the dyes. Bright orange and bright blue when you're in your 50s, that's left you by. The fact is your resume will be seen long before you will be, so you need to make sure that it represents the modern world. Now the first thing you can do to help yourself is to remove your graduation date. This will aid you. And I hope you don't have your date of birth in there as well, do you? No. Uh, also remove any dates uh, of employment during the 70s. This just isn't required. Remove or adapt any position titles that are no longer used, such as stenographer or key punch operator. And make sure your resume shows your accomplishments. People no longer want someone who just comes in to do the set tasks. They need to show that they go above and beyond. You can check for modern formats in books. Make sure they've been books that have published in the last two years. And you can also visit uh, Career Directors International. They have samples there of Tory award winning resumes. You might also want to consider the work of a professional resume writer who is probably or who is always more up to date with this information than perhaps you are. Look to the future with anticipation, energy and excitement. Shake off the negative thoughts, get back in the race and make the most of opportunities as only a person with wisdom, maturity and strength can do. Thanks for stopping by. I can be contacted at topmargin.com and for job search advice and tips, uh, my blog is at theexecutivebrand.com. For hourly uh, job search tweets, I can be found on Twitter at Gail Howard and a vast amount of resources is on my Facebook site uh, at Top Margin. I look forward to speaking with you next time. Bye.